Okay, so it's Thursday night. No, it's not. <laughs> wow. I'm doing a great job of keeping track of time, aren't I, honey? <laughs> so it's Wednesday night. Wednesday night. And it was a, an interesting day for us. We did a lot of stuff, uh, mostly at home. Cleaned up a lot of the stuff upstairs to try to prepare for the movers' arrival tomorrow because they are coming tomorrow. We're not exactly sure when, 100%. Uh, we were actually told that they are coming in the late afternoon, but no one called to tell us an exact time today, which is kind of pissing us off. Uh, let's face it, it's going to be really annoying if they end up sh not showing up at the time that they claim they're going to come, but it looks like we have no control over it, okay? So anyway, we did some odds and ends. We cleaned up the house a lot today. You saw the vlogs already of some of the fun stuff that we did unclogging a toilet. But we went out and ran out to do some last minute shopping. Uh, of things that we thought might be important. So the first thing that I did, I opened up the garage today and over here, I'll show you here, <clears throat> there was a fire extinguisher. Now, I this has been here since we moved in. And I'm like, oh, okay, nice, a fire extinguisher. You know, it's nice that it's here for emergencies. Then I actually looked at the fire extinguisher, okay? You see what that says right there? This fire extinguisher was manufactured in 1994. And if you actually look, this is the test card where they're supposed to write down the test results. They've never tested it. This fire extinguisher is 20 years old and they never tested it, which basically means this thing is a brick. It has zero use, okay? So the people who lived here before us had a fire extinguisher that didn't work. <laughs> Great, wow, real, real safety conscious people, right? So we went out today and I bought two fire extinguishers. The first one is a nice big one for a big fire. If anything ever really breaks out into a serious fire, like let's say one of my, uh, we have candles that we burn and stuff, it tips over and accidentally lights a cloth or a blanket or something, God forbid, on fire. Grab this big boy, run in there, spray the, spray the fucker, right? But then we also got another smaller one. This one is for the kitchen, basically. It's for heat sources, grease fires, that kind of stuff. And I actually, there was already a, 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 a nice big nail up there, so I kind of mounted it up there for emergency. So we got two fire extinguishers now for emergencies, okay? In addition to that, we did actually pass by a local Best Buy, and I bought a bunch of supplies for the impending arrival of the movers tomorrow. They're gonna show up with all of my stuff to set up my office, but I realized in my new office, I'm gonna have to run <clears throat> cables across the office because as you guys know, I do direct capture with the HD PVR2 and I'm going to actually need to run USB cables across my room in order for that to reach. And right now I do have a long cable for it, but it's only about 12, uh, 12 inches I wanna say. I'm not 100%, no it's not 12 inches, it's um, six feet, it's a six foot cable. And that's not long enough to go all the way around the edge of my room to get over to where my TV is going to be. So what I ended up doing is buying a ton of USB 12-foot extension cables so that I'll be able to run the USB cable all the way around the edge of my office and that the USB will be able to reach the PC that's going to be doing the direct capture. In addition, I purchased a switch because the way this is going to work now is that my Ethernet cable is going to run around the edge of my room as well and it's going to go into this switch, and then this switch is going to have all of my game consoles, including the PS3, the PS4, the Xbox 360, and the Xbox One, all hooked up to it via the internet, okay? The Wii U actually is better via wireless. So I don't have to worry about, but I had to get this to hook up those four guys to the back, okay? I ended up buying a lot of extra things, extra power extension cables, extra power cables in case I can't find the power cables for my PCs for whatever reason. I've got them in here. And I also bought a few extra ethernet cables just in case something happens and the ethernet cables didn't show up or get damaged. So I'm all set for the office. I just need to get the stuff here tomorrow and actually get it set up. And then last but not least, we actually stopped by our, our local GameStop, which is about three miles away from my place. Not bad, it's actually much closer than the GameStop in Connecticut where I live. And, excuse me. <clears throat> oh no, Phil's snorting again. Actually, I just ate, which is why I have a little bit of drippage, but. Ew. 
we picked up the first two games that I will be doing playthroughs of here in Washington. We've got Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark, and we've got Sniper Elite 3, both for the PS4 as you can see. Unfortunately, this was the last copy that they had. They said they only got two copies in the store because no one pre-ordered it. <laughs> so, I do have it. Unfortunately, it's not wrapped, which is kind of bullshit. They charge a new pricing for a game that's freaking opened, right? If you remember, this was two years ago. It was a great game, and I played it on PC. The X-Ray sniper kills and stuff were really excellent. Shots. The ball shots, the head shots. It was pretty intense. So, I'm looking forward to this. And Transformers... A lot of people are saying that this is a throwback, more of a throwback to uh, the Transformers games from the original ones that these guys uh, had made. Um, not these guys. I, you remember the original games that I played? What was it called? God. Not Fall of Cybertron. That was the last one. War for Cybertron. People are saying it's similar to that, that it has the drop-in, drop-out co-op. But it's only online. You can't do it locally, which is kind of dumb in my opinion. Well, I'm just going to be playing through it single player. So these are going to be the two official first playthroughs that are going to be from the new home in Washington State. I can't promise you when they're going to start because it depends on how long it takes the movers to get the stuff in here tomorrow and then how long it takes me to get my office set up. So it's dependent on those two factors before I can give you an answer. It could be as early as Friday. It could be as late as like Sunday, Monday. Because if the movers move everything in, I have no time to hook anything up. Then I'll, on the 4th of July, I'm hooking stuff up. Then who knows, something goes wrong. I have to run out and buy more supplies to get it to work. Sunday, all of our furniture is being delivered. So I fully expect that it's going to take several hours on Sunday for our furniture to be delivered. Okay? So I don't want to promise anyone anything. I'll give you more details in the next couple of days. But Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark and Sniper Elite 3. And I can say this. I think the very first thing that I'm going to do for gameplay in Washington is not going to be either of these games. I think that I'm going to actually play Street Fighter 4. I've been craving playing Street Fighter for a couple weeks. I haven't played, first of all, I haven't played a video game. Holy shit, it's been two weeks, hasn't it? Uh -huh. No, it's been a one week. One week. One week, right? I'm thinking, we... You arrived... Wait, now I'm so confused. I arrived on Thursday. Of... Last week? No. no the, the week, week before. before. It's been two weeks. I haven't played a video game in two weeks. Holy crap. Does it itch? Does it burn? It, it's weird. It's I can't even believe it's been two weeks. That's out of control. Seriously, I can't believe it's been that long. So anyway, wow. I really want to play Street Fighter more. And keep in mind, I still have UFC that I'm still playing. I just became the champion in UFC. So I can continue to play that. So I'm going to have several things I'm juggling for a while. And of course, keep in mind, once uh, everything's up and running and I can do podcasts, I'm sure people are going to want to do like a Hate Live or an Ask the King where I talk all about the new place. So there's a lot of stuff coming. I will give you a more solid, concrete answer when it's available. For now, tentatively, all I'm going to say is this weekend, it looks like I'll be able to do gameplay. I can't tell you exactly you when. Play this one first. I can't tell you exactly when. However, it is coming. Okay? So we shall see. More information coming. Play this one first. And this is funny because now people, oh, he gave his address away. Uh, actually, that's the address of the rental car place that I need to drop off my Why rental car. Why did they have to go and say there. that? Now they were going to post all on the internet and then everyone was going to go and meet there and look stupid. Meet at the rental car place? That'd be fun. Oh, that would have been funny. We could have driven past and laughed. All right. So anyway, that is it, everyone. Thank you very much for watching the vlogs. Tomorrow should be interesting with all the stuff arriving. I'm sure we'll have lots to vlog. Hopefully, if everything goes well, these guys will be out of here by early evening. I'll be able to start setting up my office. I don't know if that's realistically going to happen. I help you. Because they're not giving us a time. They did not give us a time. They said late called. afternoon. So. We called them and. Hey, we called them and I emailed them and they didn't respond. So, who knows what time they're showing up. Great. All right, everyone. That's it. See you tomorrow.